Congenital dislocation of the knee. Congenital dislocation of the knee is rare. It may occur due to quadriceps contracture. It usually occurs in patients with Milo or arthrogryposis or Larsen's syndrome. The patient with congenital dislocation of the knee may have DDH and club foot. On examination, the patient will have hyperextended knee at birth. The patient's foot can be placed against the face. There will be limited flexion at the knee. The patient may have a dimple or a skin crease at the anterior aspect of the knee. You must examine the hip to rule out ipsilateral hip dislocation. 50% or more will have hip dysplasia. The etiology is not known, however, it can be due to fetal positioning or congenital absence of the crochet, contracture of the quadriceps. There are grades or a spectrum for the deformity and it ranges from severe genorecarvatum, and that is grade 1, and the range of passive flexion is more than 90 degree, and that is simple recarvatum, and grade 2 is subluxation, and the range of passive flexion from 30 to 90 degree, Grade 3 is complete dislocation and there is less than 30 degree range of passive flexion. That is teric grading system. So how do you treat congenital dislocation of the knee? The congenital dislocation of the knee will take priority over treatment of the hip dysplasia or club foot the pavlic harness and the club foot cast will require knee flexion. So you need to work on treating the knee dislocation first. Grade one, the initial treatment will be stretching of the knee and serial casting with the knee in flexion. In serial stretching and casting, the goal is to obtain at least 90 degree of flexion and the reduction of the deformity over the course of many weeks. The physician should avoid pseudocorrection through an atrogenic fracture of the proximal tibial physis. The prognosis is usually good if the reduction is achieved without surgery. In grade 2, and the infant is less than one month old, you will do serial casting first, followed by percutaneous quadriceps recession, especially if the flexion is less than 90 degrees. The VUI quadriceps plasty with above the knee cast is done in grade 3 or frank dislocation, especially if non-surgical treatment fails to reduce the tibia on the femur. The result of open surgery is better when it is done in children younger than 6 months. In general, open reduction is reserved for children who did not respond to stretching and cast immobilization. It is important that the hip dysplasia is recognized and the knee dislocation corrected early. That will help in early reduction of the hip. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.